On October 1, 2024, South Korea showcased its latest strategic missile, the Hyunmu V, during the Armed Forces Day Parade commemorating the 76th anniversary of its military. The event, held in downtown Seoul, featured around 5,000 troops and nearly 100 pieces of heavy military equipment, drawing tens of thousands of spectators and closing streets to accommodate the massive turnout. A notable highlight of the event was a rare flyover by a US B-1B Lancer bomber, emphasizing the strong military partnership between South Korea and the United States. Described by South Korea as a retaliatory weapon against North Korean threats, the Hyun movie has earned the nickname Monster Missile, due to its impressive capabilities. It is capable of carrying one of the world's largest conventional warheads, weighing up to 9 tons, designed to penetrate deeply buried tunnels and bunkers, potentially achieving destructive effects comparable to nuclear weapons without crossing the nuclear threshold. Weighing 36 tons and generating a thrust of 75 tons, the Hyun movie utilizes a lofted trajectory, flying through the exosphere to enhance its penetration capabilities before descending at speeds 10 times faster than sound. Yang UK, a research fellow at the ASIN Institute for Policy Studies in Seoul, noted that the missile's transporter erector launcher can move all 18 wheels at roughly a 45-degree angle, enabling it to navigate more effectively. The missile employs a cold launch system that uses compressed gas to propel it before ignition, minimizing damage to the launcher and enhancing operational stability due to its powerful solid propellant. Referred to as High Power Missiles, HPM, by the South Korean military, both the Hyunmu 4-1 and Hyunmu V are designed to penetrate deeply buried command centers by detonating above underground facilities, effectively burying them. While the exact maximum range of the Hyunmu V remains classified, Experts speculate it could reach up to 3,000 kilometers or more, placing it within the intermediate range missile category. Its capabilities have drawn comparisons to the US Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missile in terms of warhead weight and thrust, although the Hyunmu V is believed to be a two stage missile. Manufactured by Hanwha Aerospace, the Hyunmu missiles are equipped with evasion systems to counter enemy air defenses. The South Korean Strategic Command plans to procure more than 200 Hyunmu V missiles alone. Alongside this new variant, the country is also developing new versions of the Hyunmu 2, 3, and 4 missiles, which are described as extreme precision high power missiles, or ultra powerful ballistic missiles, moving away from conventional designations. Future plans include mounting the Hyunmu V on the joint support ship, touted as the world's first arsenal ship, further enhancing its strategic capabilities. In early 2024, South Korea announced successful tests of the Hyunmu V missile. Information about these tests often surfaces through notices to airmen NOTAMs, issued to ensure airspace safety during missile activities. Analysis of NOTAMs suggests that tests likely occurred on December 26 or 27, 2023, near Jiangja Cree village on the west coast, targeting a group of islands approximately 185 kilometers south of the launch point, roughly the distance between Seoul and Pyongyang. The unveiling of the Hyunmu V aligns with South Korea's strategic investment in the 3K defense system a multi-layered defense strategy designed to preemptively address North Korean missile threats. This system comprises three key components, the Kill Chain, the Korean Air and Missile Defense System, KMD, and the Korea Massive Punishment and Retaliation Plan, KMPR. The Kill Chain component focuses on rapid detection and engagement of North Korean missile threats, aiming to target nuclear and missile facilities before they can launch. It is said to possess the capability to target mobile missile launchers within 30 minutes. The KAMD system is responsible for intercepting incoming missiles, providing a multi-layered defense for critical facilities and population centers, utilizing the domestically produced long-range surface-to-air missile, LSAM, as an upper-tier interceptor capable of targeting projectiles at altitudes up to 60 kilometers. The Korea Massive Punishment and Retaliation Plan serves as a deterrent strategy, preparing for retaliation should a North Korean attack occur. In such cases, South Korea would respond with precision missiles, advanced aircraft, and potentially special operations forces, targeting both strategic military assets and leadership. As the Hyunmu V missile joins the ranks of South Korea's advanced military capabilities, it reflects the nation's commitment to enhancing its defense posture amid rising tensions with North Korea. The missile's unveiling signifies a clear message of deterrence and preparedness, and as South Korea continues to develop its military assets, the regional security landscape will undoubtedly be influenced by these advancements. With ongoing developments in missile technology and defense strategies, South Korea is positioning itself as a formidable player in regional defense, 
ensuring it is well equipped to address evolving threats.